Alright, hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel. So, Wargaming released their, uh, Christmas, uh, trailer, basically, and for that, we get an event, and all the other things that will be coming in the next update is in, you know, mid-December, so is when it should come out. So, the main thing, of course, of this, and the pretty important thing, is the Christmas event. We have a lot of details now about the Christmas event. Uh, of course, it looks what it looks like, what tanks are involved with it, and everything like that. So, let's just go ahead and start breaking this down. So, first of all, it's very similar to last year's. You progress up the levels, and then at the end you have a choice to either get the square, which is a new thing, a new tank. It looks to me like a Leo that is a re, like a reskinned Leo to me, so uh, I think that's what that is. Or a snow globe, and here... I would definitely get a snow globe. Usually the tanks on top aren't that good. And on the bottom, you will either get like 5,000 gold or a great premium tank. So I would definitely go for that one right there. That definitely seems worth it to me to get the snow globe. And then on the bottom as well, we have the two uh, Christmas crates. I guess they're not crates. Uh, two Christmas boxes. One you can get usually for free XP. And then the other one you can buy for gold. So this is how you can get uh more snow globes and be able to try to unlock the concept 1b which is the main reward for this event the concept 1b so my uh my prediction was correct that it was going to be the concept 1b which i'm happy about that i got that right so we'll be going for the concept 1b probably again 10 snow globes which is extremely hard to get and costs a lot of money so i'm assuming really nobody out here is going to be getting this thing unless they get insanely lucky and get on their uh, like first second or third snow globe before you have to start paying a buttload of money so yeah that's going to be hard to get but that is just nice to know what the actual reward main reward tank will be um i'm sad we don't get any statistics of the snow globe like what uh what the drop chances are going to be i'm not sure if, if they will be the same as last year's or not you know with the same tanks and same drop chances uh we'll have to wait and see so, moving on from the event itself, which looks pretty good. Um, I mean, it looks about the same as last year's to me. Uh, basically the same. Uh, and that was fun. I mean, you would like it to be a little more free to play, but uh, it is what it is. So, here we have the free gift Wargaming always gives us. Now, this is going to be three days of premium time. A legendary camo for the, I believe that's, uh, is that the PZB2? I can't remember the name of that tank. And then 202,200 and, oh, that is an alarm. Sorry about that. <laughs> that uh, wasn't an alarm. So, and then 202,200 credits in three days of premium time. So, you know, a nice free gift for Wargaming to give you. It's always very nice to receive these free gifts. I mean, completely free. You just have to log in, go into the store, and collect it. So, um, this will probably be a little bit more near Christmas when you can redeem this gift. Uh, we will have to wait and see. But yeah, definitely get this. It's free, of course. Then moving on to the stuff that's just going to be happening after the update, we have first here is the PDR tank models. We're going to be upgrading this random like tier 3 tank. Nobody cares about that. The Progetto is going to be getting upgraded, which is very nice. Of course, I have the Progetto, and it will look very cool looking after. And then, of course, the big change here, the 183, which is going to be its have its turret completely reworked uh, and stuff so that its armor is going to be way stronger on this tank after it gets the PDR tank model. So yeah, the 183 is getting a buff, basically, which is quite interesting. Uh, it's getting an armor buff. So yeah, I'm sure you all know about the video about that or the videos about that. Uh, but yeah, the 183 is getting an armor buff. Um, actually, I have two pictures of that. And then here, the very last thing, not super interesting, but it's just a cool camo here, a legendary camo for the 6 ATP. Very nice. So yeah, that is everything with the update, everyone, and the Christmas event, all the stuff we have about it currently. All the details looks pretty good. Um, I'm getting excited for the Christmas event. I will have to see, uh, probably make a video about Blitz Fair the next time we get a leak about Blitz Fair or anything like the things that are going to be in there. Usually that's much closer to like Christmas though, so that probably won't happen for a while. We'll probably have a few more details about the Christmas event. Possibly some stuff like details about the snow globe, your chances, and all that stuff. And I might make a video about that and stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.